Welcome to Sunday. Welcome guys. Uh, last week we said we we're going to do a bit of a pick and pack video for you. So that's what this video is. We're going to show you everything that we've sold up until now. So it's Sunday morning. So we'll show you Friday and Saturday sales. Uh, we usually wait until Sunday night to start packaging, but we wanted to get this on video for you guys for the pick and pack. So we'll show you what we've sold so far, what it's been selling for, and a little bit of a story behind it. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so you probably noticed we've switched cameras. We're now on the <laughs> GoPro and we are going to pick those items that we've already sold. We've already picked some now. You'll probably notice that some of these are lower value items. We've been trying to clear a lot of the stuff under sort of 30 bucks. So we've been running some sales, discounting some items to try and clear them out of the store. But overall, we've had quite a good weekend so far. So let's get into the picking. Okay, just before we get into the picking, we actually have a little setup here. So this box here is for all our hard goods, and this one here is for like clothing and stuff. So we try and keep them separate. So like items packaged with like items. Now, this stuff is actually going out to some family. So there is a piece of clothing in there but we will get straight into what is already sold. Okay, Jazz has actually picked a few items here from inside already. So the first one that we had was this belt here, RM Williams, we sold it for $75 new with tags, which is this one here, so that's being picked. We also sold this here belt, uh, another one that we picked up from the same deal. Now this one actually went for $70. I'll just bring that one up for you now. $70 on that one, which is very nice. Next item off the bat is this Star Trek Voyager Season 1 trading card box sealed. We've got that one right there. Sold that one for $50. Now we picked this up for the House of Cards. These would cost us about $5 per item sealed. So uh, that's quite nice out the door. It's been sitting a little while. Um, so we just need to remove that off of the House of Cards as well. Another belt going out the door. We actually sold two to this customer. So we actually need to find the other one. Uh, nice to get them packaged up, 159 for both of them, so very happy with that sale. All right, we're going to grab the second belt for this order, make sure that they are staying together so that I package the right ones together. Down in my dark corner here. And just have a look at these little tags. Size 42 Simpson, it's going to be that one there. And one more going out the door as well, $79.95 for this one. This one's the one and a half inch, with the other one was one and a quarter. Again, we sold this for $79.95. I need this International Superstar, Superstar Soccer Boxed Game Boy Advance game sold at $36. We don't have many Game Boy games left. And it's going to be this guy right here, Snap. And average cost of goods on that one was $4. That was from our gigantic game lot. Okay, sold this Mega Drive with a power cord and a little third-party controller, which is cracked. It works, but I've actually listed it as for parts not working. And it's down here. Hey, Lucky. I've left myself a nice little note in there that says, uh, works sporadically so that I know that's the one that turns on but needs repair. Okay, next up we sold this pair of brand new Aaron Williams chinchilla boots in the red color in a nine. Uh, they should be right here. And there they are. We're back in the super dark little corner here. We've sold a Wii game Mario Kart for 25. We've only just listed this so it should be like right on top somewhere here. Oh, right, right on top. $25, we'll send that one tracked. We also have another super quick one flying off the shelf the day after we listed it. It's Midway PSP game just for 18 bucks. That one there, that one we will just send untracked. We're gonna use two stamps in a padded envelope. And the last super fast game sale was Tomb Raider. It's in a little slip cover. And I love when they're all right on top because they've gone that fast. Okay, another one of the RPG books that we picked up the other week in that massive haul. This one sold for $39.95 and it should be in this box somewhere. This one. There we go. And that cost us about $3.75 per book, so happy to get that one out the door. Next up is this set of three OKI 100 series ribbon. Now, I wouldn't recommend picking this up because this took a long time to sell, uh, but it is out the door for $45, and that should be right here. Beautiful. Well, that went well. Next up, just a basic DVD. Now, this one only went out for $10, so this one will definitely go untracked, and it should be in this box here. Mr. Robot, season one. There we go. 
All right, next sale is this Super Mario Brothers Nintendo DS Mini Backpack Case. I think we picked it up for about three bucks and it is right here. All right, a little DVD set bundle here. We actually paid zero dollars for this. Mum and dad picked this up for us and we sold it for 35 and that one is right here. Bit of the Andy Griffith show. And we're still moving through some of the CDs that we picked up ages ago for 80 cents. This one sold for 22, Guns N' Roses, Appetite for Destruction. That one should be in CD1. Yeah, we've actually got a few of those left, I think. Yeah, some more of them. Another little CD sale, Ash Grunwald now for $18. I actually keep these underneath my photo booth. <laughs> uh, ooh, good. Ash Grunwald. It's not that Ash Grunwald because it's this one. Our last CD for now is Manic Street Preachers, getting rid of that one for $11, and it's in, ooh, this one that's breaking. Manic Street Preachers. I know I've seen this one recently. There we go. Now these Ariat boots were from one of our recent videos. Now average cost of goods on these was 10. I think these individually cost us about 18 but they sold really quickly for 60 and they're kids and they are just on this top of massive pile of shoes. All right, yeah. Okay, we actually sold the other uh, Mario Kart as well. Now this one went for 37.95 because it had the manual and that should be in this stack here as well because that's a recent one, there it is. Mr. Driller is a Japanese PlayStation game, NTSCJ. Picked that one up for $4. And all my Japanese games are hiding down here. Uh, unfortunately, I can't read those spines. So that's going to make it pretty interesting. And that's him. I need a BMW air filter. And I always use this little code to find them because that's going to be on the front. So I'm looking for Ending in 164. Sorry, it is so dark in here, guys. Uh, appreciate the struggle with me. 164, bingo. Right, out to the shed we go for the clothing. Okay, just before we actually get into the picking, I just want to show you guys. So we write on the boxes like letters and then sometimes we go like RM1. <laughs> uh, so essentially we just put that in our custom SKU and that helps us find the item a lot quicker than if we just had all these unlabeled and unable to find them. That's extra stock over there, so that's why there's no labels on those. But um, yeah, let's get into this. Okay, first up, Eddie Betts' last game last night uh, for Carlton. Now this was Adelaide Crow's 300th game jersey that I picked up, a bit of RA. Obviously, uh, people are getting a bit nostalgic for it because it sold last night for $135. So we'll pick that one out, uh, what, and we're in you. All right, let's see if we can find it. Should be in one of these plastic bags. I think it was a medium. That's the large. That's the extra large, so it must be. It is that one there. Brand new in package. One of our F1 jackets, this one from 1989, actually sold for $120. That one is in the F1 bucket, funnily enough. And uh, which one are we looking for? That's the 90s. In here somewhere, I think there's a black one, wasn't it? Right, there's that one there. Might be this one. 89 Fosters, and it was a small. Which is that one there. All right, we sold this pair of Lorna and Jane uh, yoga pants. Now, these actually sat for a while, and I actually relisted these the other day, dropped the price a little bit, and they ended up selling for $30. So that should be in this tub that Jazzy's pulling out. There they are. 
30 bucks for a couple or a pair of Lorna jeans. All right, just one of our wholesale lots that we picked up. We got these for 16 bucks each, so we're not making a heap on this one, but nice to get out the door. This ACDC Rock or Bust Black Tee should be in X. Rock or Bust, not Bieber. So we're looking for this one. There it is, finally. Rock a bust. <laughs> Got it. All right, a pair of Ramcos. You would remember ages ago we picked up like a ton of these. We're still selling them through. This one sold for 60 and it should be in RMQ. And it's navy. It's a navy, yeah. And the uh, code on it should be 742. Yeah, that's the one right there. Winner. Okay, another RM Williams item. This one we sold for 50. It is a men's bundleier shirt and it should be a small. Jazzy's picking out there. It's a small. Perfect. And another one from that set. We sold this RM Williams women's semi fitted long sleeve orange white striped shirt for $79.95. That one should be an RM2. Yeah. RM2 actually features our old system for <laughs> tracking profit from four years ago. Yeah, we'll uh, <laughs> that one out. We've updated that. Uh, are you looking for a size 8? Nope. Yep. That's the 8 there. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Okay, so that's our 31 orders as of Sunday morning going out the door. Hopefully we have a good day today and we can get some more stuff out the door by Monday. Uh, Jazz will go pack these now. We won't take you for the pack part because you know you guys know how to pack stuff. <laughs> Clothes in satchels, yeah. hard goods in boxes. Yeah, it's been a good weekend so far. So thanks for joining us for this pick, well, picking video really. It's <laughs> not really kit. a pick and pack. <laughs> I uh, appreciate all the support. Make sure you smash that thumbs up and let us know if you've enjoyed this style of video so you can see what's selling for us as we sell it. 